Hello everyone. We got a new venue. We're over here at the Exchange in Effingham. So if you haven't been over here, uh, take an opportunity to check it out. This is a great space and uh, we're just so fortunate to have this in our community. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, it's our 32nd year. I mean, can you believe 32 years ago, Delbert dreamt up this idea along with a bunch of other folks uh, in the Dietrich and Jasper County, Effingham area. And here we are 32 years later, living the dream out. And uh, what started out as just a few hundred customers back some 30 years ago, uh, now has grown to nearly 13,000 retail members and some 15 communities that we wholesale water to. So we're really excited uh, to live out the vision that Delbert and uh, those founding board members had. And uh, just we just can't, can't get over it. And we wanna thank you for trusting us uh, to provide water uh, and sewer service uh, every day to your family and communities. Uh, a few things I wanted to talk about. So first off is um, we're doing an ACH giveaway in July. So those who wanna sign up for uh, uh, having your bill automatically paid will be entered into a drawing. And we're excited to give away a grill set. Uh, I'm not sure the brand and all that kind of stuff, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'm sure uh, grateful for our team to put that together. Uh, so that'll be happening in July, which starts actually Thursday. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Uh, also wanted to kind of announce, uh, there's been a lot of members over the last several years that's been interested in a service line protection program. Some of you might have heard of this type of program. It kind of feels like insurance. Uh, we've talked about doing something um, through a third party, but um, we decided to do it in-house because we wanted to keep costs affordable for our members. And we've had a lot of folks that are interested in it. So I'm kind of teeing everyone up that this is coming out later on this year. Uh, we're also planning on having a focus group, so if anyone's interested in participating, we'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, we're always interested in hearing our members' uh, feedback, and so reach out to the office and sign up uh, for that because it'll be a lot of fun uh, for you to be able to participate. But that'll be a, 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 a focus group for the Service Line Protection Program, and we're hoping to have that kind of rolled out later on this year. So be on the lookout for it because you'll certainly hear more and more uh, on that. Also, the fourth's coming. So it was funny, earlier today I was talking to somebody and it's like, because of COVID, you know, last year, 4th of July was a total bummer. This year, we're just excited. I mean, my family's excited. We're gonna be out at the lake, enjoying yourselves. So as we think about the 4th of July, celebrate, you know, our independence as a nation. Uh, that was a big, big deal uh, back some 200 plus years ago. And uh, enjoy time with family and friends. And of course, stay safe and uh, just really kind of enjoy the summer because it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we, we encourage you to use water this weekend. So anything with water, we're excited about, but uh, enjoy the, the weekend. Uh, also, our, our office will be closed on Monday, you know, in observance of the 4th of July. Um, we're also available for emergencies. Uh, also wanted to kind of talk about uh, mergers and acquisitions. So most recently we've acquired um, Dewey and Iwanico and then also the Village of Colton will be closing here actually th this week. And uh, this kind of is a, a, an overarching theme that we want to continue to educate everybody. You know, why are we doing this type of work? Uh, there's about 3,000 water systems in, in Illinois alone, and our industry is consolidating. And so we've had a lot of villages that want to uh, do things the cooperative way, which is the spirit of the co-op. Um, and it's allowed people to provide much more affordable water. Uh, for our members that have been with us for 30 plus years, the overall goal is as our base grows, um, we're able to keep our rates more affordable. And that's the main goal of our board of directors. That's the major uh, goal that they have for our leadership team. And so this kind of furthers this work is allowing us to continue to grow. Oftentimes the, the growth is much cheaper than doing uh, uh, growing these systems on our own. And so we're excited to have these villages in uh, our members and uh, Anyway, that's, that, uh, that's the benefits of why we're doing this type of work. We also continue to do work on our contract service side of the house, um, which is just services for other utilities. We're up to something like 22 or 23 utilities in our area that we do you know, billing services, uh, any type of accounting type work or license operator. Uh, so we're, we continue to do that kind of work. We're excited about it. And uh, it, it is allowing us to improve the quality of life the cooperative way. So. Everyone enjoy themselves, have a great 4th of July weekend, and we'll be talking next quarter. Thank you.